Hello and welcome to Wedding Wednesdays with Weddings Online. My name is Kelly and I'm a former wedding planner and blogger and I'm obsessed with weddings. If you're planning a wedding in Ireland, you're in the right place. You're going to learn the tried and tested methods to planning your dream wedding without the added stress. Think of this as your one-stop shop for everything to do with planning your wedding in Ireland. With me, your new wedding planning bestie and a cup of tea. This is Wedding Wednesdays with Weddings Online. Well, hello and welcome to the Wedding Wednesdays with Weddings Online podcast. My name is Kelly. I have something really cool in store for you today. We are actually starting part one of three parts all about wedding ceremonies. In fact, we are answering your most common wedding ceremony questions. And there were so many good questions to answer. And I had such great responses from the professional wedding celebrants, solemnizers, officiants, registrars, the people who know all the things about wedding ceremonies. And I had such good responses from them that I couldn't possibly cram everything into one episode. So I've chosen to split these into three episodes. In the first episode, we're looking at a kind of general intro into wedding ceremonies. Next week, we're going to talk all about content. So things that you can do in your ceremony, how you can personalize it, how you can involve friends and family, even the shy ones. And then in the third episode, we're talking more about the legal side of things. Is there anything that you have to do in your ceremony for it to be legally binding? How do you do the green folder thing? All of the questions to do with that will be episode three. So episode one is this one. Next week, Wednesday is episode two. And then the following week, Wednesday is episode three. And today we've got five questions about wedding ceremonies and five amazing experts who are each going to answer a question. These are the questions that we are covering today. We're going to talk about whether or not you need a wedding ceremony rehearsal. Then we're talking about the types of wedding ceremonies that there are in Ireland. The next question brings a little bit more detail to one of those types where we're going to talk a little bit more about what a spiritual ceremony is. We're going to talk about the basic elements that are included in an Irish wedding. So this is a little bit of a hint of the legal side of things. And then we'll go into more detail on this in episode three. And um, the final question is, how long is a wedding ceremony? And the answer might surprise you. So let's get started with question number one. We had Sheila Moran answer the question, do we need to do a ceremony rehearsal? Why don't you take a listen to what she had to say? Hi, Kelly. In my experience, I really don't think it's necessary to have a rehearsal for your wedding ceremony because whatever is going to happen on the day is going to happen on the day. You can have rehearsed till the cows come home and it's not going to make any difference. Whatever will be, will be, as they say. Now, in saying that, I think perhaps if you're having a very large bridal party, it might be no harm to do a quick run through just to make sure that everybody knows that they know where they're going and where they have to be. But... I really think that the night before your wedding would be far better spent enjoying the evening because after all, this is your last evening as single people. So enjoy it, get a good night's sleep, leave the logistics of your wedding ceremony in the capable hands of your wedding coordinator and your celebrant. And that is my advice. Thank you. Moving on to question number two, which is what types of wedding ceremonies are there in Ireland? We have Adele O'Connell and she's going to tell us all about wedding ceremonies in Ireland. So take a listen. Hello, my name is Adele O'Connell and I am a one world interfaith celebrant and solemnizer. And over the next few minutes, I hope to clarify the different types of wedding ceremonies available to couples in Ireland. All of the following categories are legally binding ceremonies. The first being religious. Obviously, these include ceremonies conducted in a church by a member of a religious order. But within this category are celebrant or solemnizer led ceremonies that can be conducted at a venue of your choice for couples of all faiths or none. And the couple get to choose all of the content of their ceremony. They can be held seven days a week, including bank holidays. 
The next category is spiritual ceremonies, which are non-denominational, where couples invite those from the spirit world to be present with them on their special day. These two can be held any day of the week. Next, humanist ceremonies, which are civil and as such non-religious. They cannot include any religious references whatsoever in either your choice of readings or music choices. And again, these can be held seven days a week. And finally, a civil ceremony. This is conducted by a civil registrar who is an employee of the HSE and they will conduct your ceremony in one of their offices or at a venue approved by the HSE. They can only be held Monday to Friday, which rules out weekend or bank holiday dates. I hope this has been of help in choosing the right ceremony for you. Very, very helpful. And to go into more detail about one of those types of ceremonies, we have Geraldine Bound, who's going to talk a little bit about what a spiritual ceremony is. Hello, this is Geraldine from RevGeraldine.com. I'm an interfaith minister, and today I'm answering the question, what is a spiritual ceremony? Well, obviously, first of all, it's not religious. Religious ceremonies are usually in a church, they're following a particular dogma, there's usually a set format. Now, a lot of people are not able to have a religious wedding in a church, even if they want one. For instance, in the Catholic Church, if you've already been married, you can't remarry in the Catholic Church. And it might be that the bride and groom, or the two brides, or two grooms, come from different traditions, and they want both sets of traditions um, reflected in the ceremony. Now, the alternative to a church wedding is not just a civil wedding. In a civil wedding, only the HSE can, can conduct this, has to be Monday to Friday. They're usually very short. But there's another, there's a middle way, which is the spiritual ceremony, which bridges the gap between the religious ceremony and the civil ceremony. Now here, people who don't want a religious ceremony might want still a sense of the sacred in their ceremony. They'll be comfortable with words like sacred and divine and God, and they want that reflected in the ceremony. In a, in a spiritual ceremony, of course, you have a lot of input into the content. The language is the language you would use. It reflects your beliefs, not the beliefs of the celebrant. Bear in mind that humanists can't have any spiritual references in their ceremony. So a spiritual ceremony is in that huge gap in between the church ceremony and the civil ceremony. So if you would like any more information about that, do check it out on revgeraldine.com. Well, there we have it from both Adele and Geraldine, a bit more of an explanation about different types of ceremonies. And we will address more of the legal side of things in episode three. But we've also got some input from Mary O'Mahony, who's talking a little bit about the basic elements, things that need to be included, a little bit about a timeline and contacting um, the HSE. And this is a bit of a hint towards something that we're going into more detail about in episode three um, of this series. But let's see what Mary had to say to get married in Ireland you need to have a marriage license for Irish citizens and European citizens you apply three months prior to the date of the marriage and you can apply to any HSE office in the country it doesn't matter where you live or where you're getting married if you're a non-EU citizen you must get special a special marriage visa license. This has to be done through an HSE office and takes longer, so just be warned. Well, we have one more question that we are going to answer in today's episode, and we've got um, the expert advice from Fergal Curtis, whose name and voice you might recognize as well. And the question is, how long is a wedding ceremony? And I love his answer because it's not what I expected him to say, but it's full of valuable information that's going to help you plan your ceremony. So take a listen. 
Hello, uh, this is Ferg Curtis, also known as Celebrate with Ferg. I'm a celebrant and solemnizer with Entheus Ireland. Um, delighted to be invited back on to the Weddings Online podcast and a big shout out to Kelly for asking me. So the question that I've been given is, how long is a wedding ceremony? Right, I have two answers for this one. My first answer is, sweet spot, 30 to 40 minutes. That always feels like a gorgeous amount of time for the couple, um, for everyone who's there, and it kind of fits in the right amount of things, rituals, music, readings, poetry, the vows, um, all the stuff that you would like to be involved usually fits in to the 30-40 minute mark. However, I've been answering this question a little bit differently recently because it does come up on most calls. So what I like to say now is, listen, let's put the expectation of timings aside. Let's put the consideration of timings to the side and let's focus on what you would like the ceremony to look like. Let's focus on what you want um, to be involved. Let's discuss ideas. You know, you might have some ideas like, yes, I would love this, this and this. And then someone might mention something. You're like, oh, I want that as well. And we can, you know, play with the jigsaw and take things in and out. Um, it's not a jigsaw that needs all the parts. It's a jigsaw that just needs the parts that like you really, really love. So I say, let's put the timings aside. Let's create the ceremony. See how the ceremony flows. See if it feels right to you. See if it feels like, you know, it's authentically you as a couple. And then after that, we kind of can put a little bit of a time on it go, it will probably be around this much time. But it's coming from a place of everything that you want the ceremony to look like. So it could be 20 minutes, it could be an hour, mostly it does end up 30 to 40 minutes. Um, but some people want more music in. Some people want more uh, poetry in, different words. Some people want to do, you know, two to three rituals. Some people just want to do one ritual and a simple poem. So it really depends on what you would like. So that is my advice is put the timings aside at the start, sit down with your celebrant and say, let's just create this ceremony and make it feel like us. And then at the end, be like, it'll probably be around this. Um, but no one is going to be sitting there going, this is too long. This is too short. If it feels authentically like the two of you. And that's my little bit of advice. So, um, yeah, happy planning your ceremony. So now that is the perfect segue into next week's episode. Because if you are thinking, you know what, now that I've heard um, this information, um, I actually do want to have a wedding ceremony that is authentically us. Well, then next week's episode is perfect for you because we're going to be talking all about the content. So some of the questions will be things like, how can I personalize my wedding ceremony? Are there any special ways to include my children in the ceremony? How can we include our guests? And what about those who are too shy to do something like a reading? Um, how many songs do we need in our ceremony? And then, of course, any special ways to incorporate the Irish tradition into the wedding ceremony. So if you don't want to miss that, you need to stick around, listen to episode two, which is coming out next week, Wednesday. But a big thank you to this week's guest experts. I'm going to drop a link to where you can get in touch with each of them. If you're looking for some more expert advice, if you would like someone to help you pull together a really amazing wedding ceremony, then get in touch with them because they are amazing. Well, thank you for listening today. The Wedding Wednesdays with the Weddings Online podcast is produced by me, Kelly, and mixed, mastered, and edited by Glenn Hartman. For more wedding planning tips, advice, checklists, and more, visit weddingsonline.ie.